more than I ever imagined. Come on, let's pick up the pace. I can hear it calling my name. Yeah, me too. Choco, 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 bow. I'm on a choco bow. You're on a choco bow. <sighs> hey, guys, it's me. I'm back. Nanaki, I can't believe it. It really is you. <laughs> we were so worried. Oh, come on. Whoa, come on. Now, why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on. Uh, you can let them through. They're good people. I promise. After all, they're the reason I'm here. What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me! Who? <laughs> He's such a softie. Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <sighs> Welcome to the Sanctum of Planetology, Cosmo Canyon. Born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a watcher of the veil like those before me until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Nanaki! Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on. Can't forget that materia. As for me. Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights. a sister ceremony to the river of life. Feel the energy all around you. It rides the winds of Katsuna. Our journey begins here, at the dawn of life. As newborn souls, freshly birthed by the planet, though the road ahead is unknown, we are not afraid. Lift your gaze. Tell me, is it better to spread the teachings of Zen Taoism? 
These are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after Mama Kim. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> Mamaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our veil and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh, 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 oh. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Mama King? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. Oh, <laughs> have my devices piqued your curiosity? They are essential to my studies of the planet. I never thought you could become even more enchanting. And yet, it's like you're singing to me of the planet's wisdom. Don't you worry, my dear. I'll find a way to bring out... <laughs> You recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Namaki was quite a handful. a larger telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. But the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. Observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches of time. Nothing is as beautifully complex as the cosmos. The planet connects us one and all, for everything exists through her. dirt indeed. One I've heard all too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. 
because we saw them with our own eyes. Two in the Coral and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> A fascinating account. Were it true? However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes, that would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. Sent to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado. This is only the beginning. A shooting star! Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Behold, the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name. Though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star, the blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay. But 
Does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory. Suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. to say it was a waste. What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't, I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. I'll see you at the festival.
The river of lights. Once a year, we gather the souls that have drifted to our veil and return them. I heartily encourage you to join us in there is no seminar here. Five leaf meditation. Tourists must be quite the festival. She would never forsake us, never abandon us, for we are her children, one and all. This wonderful planet is always watching over us, ever keeping calamity at bay. If people everywhere resolved to not take her bounty for granted and offered up prayers of gratitude, no man, woman, or child would suffer. We must live in harmony with our great mother. Look at them, gathered around, just like us that day. Uh, never mind. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think, but when it comes, sorry, I can't. I'm still not ready. Wow, so many I had the pleasure. Said it was presumptive. So what? No. We fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. That. Did I sound as all? You did good. Can't help it if they suck. I kind of wanted to. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will, I've been watched, I've been ignored, even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. 
that much, Miss Clear. So my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. It is time! Whoa! Pretty sappy, huh? Every word, though. So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think of the River of Light? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale, as it were. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat. And it pleases me to know that the River of Light possesses such power. Alas, my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation. Yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. Don't let him get you down. I'm glad to know that Aerith has planned. 